Hello, and uh, we're back. I'm Mac, and we're back with Warhammer 40k Gate Demon Hunters. This is my long play series. Uh, we're on episode 4. I'm playing through the campaign on standard difficulty. And uh, it's, been, it's been a while since my last uh, recording. It's been about a week. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into things. Um, I believe I'm ready to jump into the next mission. Let me just take a quick stroll through my ship. I, be I believe so. We have a wounded Grey Knight. So we learned a few things in the last episode. Uh, we learned, or I learned, that it's a good idea to heal as many of my Grey Knights as possible before the mission ends. It was very clear on the last mission that things were going to wrap up, and I didn't get a chance to heal Voldred here. So he's got to uh, recover for 20 days, which is not too bad. But we could have avoided that were we to just heal him up before the uh, finishing, before the final turn. Another thing we learned was uh, the effective use of action points in a turn. Uh, something that I did manage to pull off with uh, Voldred uh, taking out two enemies in a single turn, which really swung things in my favor. And uh, also with uh, my other, uh, my other uh, Grey Knight here, uh, Ul Ulrich. Another cool thing that I learned was auto attacks are pretty cool when they when they uh, execute on their own <laughs> automatically. Okay, I wonder if there's there's no mission for me to jump into. I have to advance time. Research is happening. Six more days to uh, research the Pock Walker necropsy. And we've got seven days before our augmentation chamber is repaired. All right, let's look at the ship status. Repair, repair in progress, seven days, yep. There's a whole lot of things to uh, fix on this ship. All in good time. All in, all in due time. Right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left to do but to advance time. One sec here. What? I cannot pronounce this name. Not even gonna try. So, yeah, let's advance time and see what happens. Oh, hold on a sec. Pause time. Shoot, there is a there's a, a potential mission spot here. Was there not? Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna reach it in time. Even even if I didn't advance time for a couple seconds, I don't think I can uh We cannot afford to sit on our hands while the bloom spreads unchallenged. So I I'm all work four? Zero days left. Mission unreachable in time. Yeah, it's true. We knew that. The bloom spreads. The bloom has spread on this planet while we were occupied elsewhere. We'll need to triage our efforts wisely in order to hold back this plague. Well, you know, had stuff to do. True. Commander. So there's no point traveling there anymore. I think if I didn't advance time stationary, I probably would have made it like almost to this, this system. Which I've highlighted here. Commander, the Edict will not be able to reach all missions before they expire. Reconstruction of the warp drive and aug augurium systems would make it easier to reach missions with time to spare. Yeah, the ship needs to travel a teensy bit faster. So now what? Come. Let us talk over what troubles you, brother. Three more days until our augmentation chamber is completed, and it should be another, uh, th oh, just two days for the uh, research, okay. Well, let's keep advancing time. 
Uh, I don't want to travel here anymore. How do I cancel this? Oh, I don't want to travel there no more. I'll just travel here. How's that? <laughs> there we go. This poxwalker was one of the Imperial faithful, afflicted with a strain of mutagenic virus. There is no doubt we are dealing with the work of the plague god Nurgle. This <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> whispered of in those astropathic fragments. Yeah, yeah. Within the carcass, I found a germ of some ancient power corrupted with a foul psychic resonance. This seed is used to spread the virus. Of that, I am certain. But it arrived to me damaged, and there is little else I can learn from it. In order to study how we might fight this plague, I must acquire one of these seeds completely intact. I can instruct your brothers on how to extract these specimens properly. Please ensure they pay attention. The Emperor loathes indolence. Let's not disappoint him. <laughs> These uh, Inquisitors uh, in 40k, Warhammer 40k, they're quite multi-talented, aren't they? This is Inquisitor oh. Kartha Vakir of the Ordo Malleus. I am alumnus of Evixia Danica. Access code, Clarion Magenta 11 17 21. I require immediate response from Titan. This is Grandmaster Vardan Kai responding, Inquisitor. This act borders on heresy. The screams of the astropods you burned already reverberate through the warp. It is fortunate for you that I am prosecuting a campaign in the nearby Chimera system. I suggest you explain yourself and quickly. Grandmaster, I have commandeered the Baleful Edict. We face... You have seized a Grey Knight Strike Cruiser. As is my right. I have foreseen dire omens for this sector. Already Nurgle's poxwalkers roam free. Oh, indeed. I'm surprised an agent of your pedigree is not equipped to deal with such lesser threats of chaos. Agravain, perhaps you can clear up this nonsense for me. Uh... My lord, in the <laughs> battle during our last campaign against the Cadium cult, we had been returning to Titan He's out of commission, when sir. this Inquisitor intervened. Ah, oh, Brother Ektar, that is sorry news. I trust then that you have appointed one of our brothers to act in his stead. Well, speak up then, Commander. What say you to this Inquisitor's story? Sir, yes, sir. She's a... She's a... <laughs> she's a bad bitch, sir. Uh, I like how uh, this Grandmaster Kai... In terms of pecking order, he seems to be right up there with the Inquisitor. He can go toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe, pardon me. Uh... <laughs> Giving her the business. Uh, I'd like to see that. He is a grandmaster after all. I, I thought even a grandmaster of the Grey Knights would have to kowtow to the Inquisitor, Inquisitor's every whim, but apparently he's got some pull, so that's good to see. Agree with Inquisitor. We should return to Titan. Discuss the Bloom Seed. I don't want to just throw the Inquisitor under the bus. We are still working together, and I'm of lower standing than the Inquisitor, so I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't use this opportunity to just pile on the Inquisitor. I should be professional. So I'll discuss the Bloom Seed. Intriguing. However, the galaxy is full of unsolved mysteries. I am confident these poxwalkers are the symptom of a much greater cancer. I only need a little time to conduct further research. Very well. I am not in the habit one of second-guessing those under my command. That is, until given a good reason. I will leave the Baleful Edict in your care. You have my thanks, Grandmaster. But there is yet another reason I desire to speak with you. As steward of the Armory of Titan, I had hoped you could release further assistance. Don't thank me yet. I will give you 60 Tertian solar days to prove this threat warrants the deployment is of the Is that a lot of time? I'm not sure. <laughs> Battleborn as it is, Strike Force Cyphos could be put to good use in several campaigns across the galaxy. Any further requisition from my arsenal will have to be earned. But I. Ho oh, ho. Hangs up on her. After each Grand Master's report, 
you can spend your requisition to unlock and upgrade armor slots. Nice. I have seven requisitions. The resource slot gives you access to the new knight reinforcements, servitors, grimoires, and other resources at the end of a mission. This is how I get fresh blood, right? This is if my guys die, this is how I get new recruits, essentially. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Select? Okay. You can only unlock or upgrade each slot once per report. Slot upgrades increase your chance of accessing more and better equipment and resources. Range requisition, the Army of Titan has a wide variety of massive crafted range weaponry, including standard issue storm bolter patterns along with relic psi cannons, silencers, and incinerators. Upgrading your range of requisition, requ requisition increases your chance of accessing higher grade range weapons as mission rewards. Knight requisition uh, increases your chance of recruiting great knights at higher starting rank. Oh, this is good. I mean, this is really good. And melee requisitions for melee weapons, armor requisition for armors. So you can only unlock or upgrade each slot once per report. Okay. Well, definitely gonna go for it. It's telling me to do knights. It's like hint, hint. Let's do knights. And let's also do. Oof. I want uh, Terminator armor, right? Yeah. So let's get that. Three left, so I can do one more. War gear. I think war gear. I don't want to have to choose between like, oh, what, am I going to go mostly range, mostly melee right now? So I want to. Oh, let's do war gear. Kind of all-purpose utility stuff, and that's all we got. That's all we got. Confirm. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I wonder how often those Grandmaster reports happen. What is it? Did he say? He said 60 days. Tartarian days or whatever, so. Research project complete. Pogs walking at Cropsy. Within the carcass, I found a psychically infused seed, a germ of some ancient power now corrupted with foul spiritual resonance. The seed is tied to the spread of this bloom, but it was damaged in the Pogs walker's destruction. The next step must be to extract one of these psychic seeds whole from a functioning host. Seed extraction unlocked. Start new research. Let's talk to our lady first. You have my attention, knight. So the plague has spread through these seeds. It is not so simple. The disease proliferates quickly, too quickly for these seeds to infect each new case through direct physical contact. My current theory is that the seeds emit some kind of psychic field to help catalyze the spread. The seed from the sample we collected was destroyed. I need the seeds intact for further study. Yes, your brothers were overzealous in collecting the sample. If I wanted brute force, I would have sought out the iron hands. Let's if discuss something else. This isn't your first encounter with Warp Spawn. The Grey Knights and Inquisition have worked together since the earliest days of our orders. Obviously, are we not all demon hunters? Yours, yours serves as the hammer while mine is the arm and the will to wield it. This is knowledge you must already possess, Commander. Are you testing me? Kind of. We are equals in this endeavor, then? We each have our own role to play as partners. Yes partners in my mission in a manner of speaking you do serve the inquisition oh don't look at me like that commander i would never pressure you to tell you how to do your job can i trust you to lads of my brothers know that i will not sacrifice your men unless the need is great no that is not my concern however grenades are a valuable resource a rare and powerful tool in the fight against chaos very well that's all, actually. My research beckons. Let's research something else. Okay, what does this... Like, there's so much research to do. This is going to be a long-ass game, isn't it? <laughs> Very long, indeed. The seed. It'll take 25 days. The Pogswalker carcass carried remnants of a corrupt seed that was destroyed along with this carrier. 
I need to study an intact seed recovered from a live host in order to ascertain how they function to spread this plague. This will, this will give us one requisition? Okay, so that's good. I ought to research that next, eh? What is this? This is, uh... This is gonna enhance my psychic abilities. It's kind of unclear what some of these upgrades, some of these level one upgrades will do, the other two. So I'm just gonna keep going on the uh, uh, seed, Poxwalker and seed research here. Oh, can I not select this? Oh, I can't, I can't research this. Insufficient seeds. Oh, okay, okay, because I haven't done, I haven't gone out to the field to get more seed. So I may as well just research these other ones. Yeah, they, they both take 17 days. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I think this will give us, like, more intelligence before a mission. I think. Let's try it. Let's just try it. Because it's going to unlock, heal... Uh, this thing. Teleporting? Yeah. All knights and combat servitors teleport to any visible location. All knights minus one action point. Oh, everyone can teleport then. Okay, um, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's go for this then. It's a very complex game. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah. I'm, rel I'm relatively satisfied with my decision there. Uh, let's talk to Lunette. Lunite, pardon me. At last, we can dispose of the Poxwalker corpse. An unclean, organic thing foul in my ship. And the Inquisitor doing her best to desanctify my quarantine procedures. However, now she wants to bring more of these seeds aboard. I'll have to audit the consecration protocols. Waiting for new input. What is the status of our construction efforts? Do I need to ask that? I am repairing the damage as requested. I, I must caution you, oh. <laughs> The Baleful Edict is a shrine to the Machine God, and these repeated damage incidents desecrate her. Do keep further violations to a minimum. Wow, you read all your lines. Amazing. I think, I think it's all for now. I must attend to repairs. We got three servitors to use. We can repair the... Oh, still one more day for the uh, augmentation chamber. So let's let that finish. Uh, let's talk to Ektar. Come, let us talk over what troubles you. What do you make of Grandmaster Kai's reaction to our Inquisitor? Besides a clear violation of communication protocol, you mean? Commander, you must see that Inquisitor Vakir's evidence here is quite scant. The cryptic meanderings of an atropath and a handful of poxwalkers. The Cadium cult had spread death and destruction across 12 hive worlds in three sectors before we put it down. And what, and what of the seed she's discovered? Arcane talismans as catalysts for corruption are scarcely a novelty to us Knights of Titan. The Inquisitor knows this. <laughs> you don't think this exercise is worthwhile? The Grand Master will weigh our value to this campaign. No, we are far from being in the best fighting shape at this moment, and it is our duty to support the in Inquisition when needed. He will weigh our uh, value to this campaign against others where we might have a more obvious impact. Yes. Is this venture, if this venture is insignificant, why requisition our strike force? Perhaps there's some piece to this puzzle we do not yet see. I am as in the dark as you are. Perhaps there is some piece of this puzzle we do not yet see. The Inquisition is a vast and dislocated bureaucracy. We may simply be one small piece being shuffled around the board for some other purpose. Yet, 
it brokers nothing to speculate. The onus is on you to ensure we do not return to Titan in shame. I suggest you focus on completing the mission at hand. Whatever best helps you, Commander. Uh, Dominus Lun Lunit seems off kilter. All tech priests are eccentric in their own way. Too much of their mortal flesh has been stripped away. You doubt her? There is no being I trust more to look after the Baleful Edict. Yet her fervor for the vessel can at times eclipse our purpose. Occasionally she needs that reminder. You consider her unreliable? Her competence is beyond question. She has saved my life on more than one occasion. She was key in piloting the edict through the astral looking glass of the euphoric baron, shattering his demonic spirit into a million fragments. There are even storied rumors that she has fought alongside Lord Dra Drago? Drago? Drago. The Supreme Grandmaster, would that not make her? What? Ancient, yes, assuredly. The tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus are not prone to deceit, nor do they care one whiff for social standing among the unaugmented, as they call us. You know that we Astartes are in or dispensable. We will live, fight, and die in this endless war against chaos. Our Dominus is, dare I say, unique even among her kind, nigh irreplaceable. The edict would not be half as capable without her. Certainly. Interesting. We are the hammer. I like these conversations. Uh, they take up a lot of time, for sure. And that's why uh, in my Let's Play episodes, I rarely do more than one mission. Uh, in fact, I'm probably only going to do one mission on this uh, on this uh, episode because of all the in-between mission stuff, right? All the uh, conversations I have. But I like it. I like it a lot. So let's... Um, there's nowhere to go to yet. So let's advance time yet again. I'm still on my way to this system, even though I don't need to go there. Here we go. Let's start a new uh, project. Okay, so. What's most broken? Argurium. This seems to be quite urgent to fix up. This will speed up our travel. We'll go faster, right? The Argurium has been damaged and rendered inoperative. Until we realign its prismatic array, we will not be able to make effective use of our prognosticars to scry the enemy's activities. Yeah, yeah. We don't have enough servitors. What the hell? Oh, that sucks. How do I get more servitors? Sheet. Let's save it here, real quick. Uh, let's do a secondary in-between mission save. Call it ship three. Why not two? Anyway. There we go. <laughs> Done. Are we still traveling? Yeah, okay. You know, we simply advance time. I want more servitors. But I don't think I can get any more until I finish another mission. This screen just does nothing. It's just like, admire the outside of your strike cruiser. Let's advance time again. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, here we go. Bloom Swan detected three new missions. Our prognostic car choir has detected the presence of three new eruptions of bloom activity across the sector. We have informed Titan and must act on these new incursions to the best of our abilities, but we'll choose the closest one. Oh, hot damn. Cool. Right there. Let's look at the info. Eurydice, Eurydice Prime. We could probably do two if we're good enough. Okay, objectives. Eliminate all seed carriers, plus two requisition. Glorious deed. Win mission without using grenades. What? I love my grenades, though. 
We can try going for that, then we can uh, not equip grenades. As a way to uh, enforce. I'll get 15 servitors for this mission, so that's that's pretty awesome. Dope. Nice. So we are ready to start the mission. Glorious deeds are optional objectives that add risk to a mission, but grant requisition rewards on success. You must choose whether to accept before beginning the mission. You have laid down the challenge and I accept. Oh, I do love my grenades, but I should learn how to strategize without them. I should learn how to win without crutching on the grenades, because I use all my grenades very quickly last mission <laughs> it was just too tempting they're all bunched together the enemies right okay we wait wait a sec how come he hasn't he's barely healed oh five more days and he's well can we try swapping him out your brothers will rejoice at the challenge I don't have enough requisition to recruit knights. New knights are available from Titan at a small cost of requisition. You can recruit them at any time if our roster gets low. I'll get barracks increase recruits rank. Yeah, that's that's what I want to do next. But we have uh, basically uh, someone who's on the bench that can be put it put to work. So. This guy is an interceptor, but I only have um, a Purgator and a Jessicar on the bench. These guys are fresh. I think I'll go for a Jessicar. Mithrak. I'll go for another Jessicar. Mm-hmm. Let me start from the very beginning. Oh, okay, it's warning me that I can't complete the uh, glorious deed because I have frag grenades equipped on these. It's, it's good they tell you who's got the um, frag grenades. Helpful of them. Okay. Let's do the loadout. This is go for more uh, willpower then. And then I like all his weapons right now. I don't want to change anything. What did he say? Oh, class restricted. Okay. Armor types. Oh, can I go Terminator armor on this boy? Dude. Nice. This unit has plus two armor. Tactical Dreadnought. This knight is immune to knockback effects from enemies of equal size. Okay. Ah, uh, sick. It's already equipped. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize. Are you sure it's already equipped? Okay. Are you sure? We are yours to command, brother. Commander, our brothers can initiate a focused retraining regiment to update their abilities in order to meet your needs for this campaign so we can respect them. Seems like at no cost. That's this that's good. I can send them back to Titan. This is like basic stats maybe uh cosmic like 
Visual customization, it looks like. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. Cool. I let me. Okay, let's. Oh shit, no. I always get the buttons messed up. Wear gear slot. Go for. What's the servo skill do again? So another person can do healing besides my apothecary. Okay. Uh, not gonna not gonna bother with this guy. I'm gonna do another sacred incense. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a purgator, so he can't uh, equip the Terminator armor. Okay. Uh, let's go st straight into the next guy. Mithric. Where your slot? Maybe we can put the servo skull on this guy. Give him the slightly better storm bolter. Let's do it so he like has a better crit chance, maybe. And then on his melee. Hammer. Crit chance as well. What? This armor is currently equipped to Darig. Oh, Darig's got the hammer. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I had like multiples. No, 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 no. In that case, um, so I guess the halberd is also taken. Oh, this halberd's taken. So I can take this one. There we go. Yeah, see, it's already taken by Ulrich. Okay, that's fine. I like the halberds, look cool. Does he already have the... Seems like, yeah, he's already equipped. So, automatically equipped with Terminator. That's, that's pretty sick. Oh, he looks so much smaller. The power armor. It's such a difference. <laughs> such a difference, man. Alright, uh... He's got the servo skull. Alright, no. okay, next... Final guy. Look how tiny he is. <laughs> Where's your slot? Yeah, he's already got the servo skull. I don't want to change anything. What's the melee weapon he has? It's... Oh, is it this Narthesium thing? Okay. It can also heal. You know what? I changed my mind. I want to give the, the new guy also... Um, the sacred incense, and I'll give the purgator the uh, servo skull. Do it like that. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Target appears to be the heart of a hive world dockyard. 
Is it possible our prognosticers were mistaken? Have some faith, Purifier. What better place is there than a busy transport hub to spread a mass infection? You may have a point, Inquisitor. Brothers, seek for signs of the bloom and destroy any obstacle you find. Commander, your brethren must recover one of these seeds from a living host. I have trained your warriors to focus their senses. If they perform a precision strike in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they should be able to locate and extract any seed present within the foe. Let's do in combat. Let's override this one. All right. Ulrich's gonna lead the charge. So we're gonna go left here, and then we're gonna make our way across this bridge. And that's the, that's the first place we're gonna extract the seed. We'll probably expect a fight around this area. Angle the camera this way. Can move further ahead, but then I'd be out of position, so. So let's tell him to, uh. Oh, nothing. I don't gotta tell him to do anything. Because the second Justicar, he'll uh, move up a little bit f further. Okay, we're good. Back to Ulrich. Actually, can I move? Nah. No. Nah, no, Ulrich sees all his points. Actually, I can just move him up just a tiny bit. Even though he's out of, he's not in cover. The, I doubt the enemy is just gonna be able to attack us on their turn. <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Purgator, uh, he'll move up this way. I can just plant him there. Move my apothecary. Actually, what is your will? Can he, he can't make it. Okay, yeah. I'll move my apothecary on this side then. There we go. Weapons ready. Okay, so they're over on that. We got this huge container in our way. Alright. I am here to serve. Let's inch forward. Oh wait, I thought it was okay. It's still my turn, but uh, I don't know. Just like move a little bit, and just like, move up a tiny bit here. Cover as much ground as possible on my turn if there's no danger. Bloom rises fifteen percent. All right. I don't know what these like little icons mean. Seriously. Two seed carriers and this enemy patrol. All right, let's uh, move. Ulrich. Ulrich has no movement. But. Uh, he's got like no movement. <laughs> yeah, we haven't triggered them yet. Yes, Commander. At your service. Uh, let's get him on the other side of this uh, container. Send the Jessica is up front. Of the oh, here we go. Keep searching. Okay, now at the movement points of my Jessica are, are reset. The action points, I mean. They should be, right? Yeah, I got back. But the thing is, though, now. Uh, my Purgator is, like, kind of far back, which kind of sucks. 
I could just swap places by Purgator. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what this guy can do. Can he get up there and hit? He can. Both my, um... They can both... Go for a stun. Do I have to do that every time, though? Your orders at your Oops. command. All right, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm being very cautious here. These guys basically are best as uh, melee, so I just want to uh, make sure. By force strike, he's just dead. He's a dead boy. Go get him, Ulrich. No, don't give up now. I still have one AP. Where I can use to strike somebody, so we can gang up. So, yeah. oops. Basically, we can each take out a guy. Right. Oh, so he's all out of points. Oops, I did. I forgot to check that. He's all out of uh, AP. So I can wound this guy. I wound this guy. Let's see what um, Dara can do to help here. I don't think he's in range to do any shooting, that's the problem. He's got one AP left. Can I hit anyone? I cannot. I can move ahead. Because I think the uh, enemies up front are going to be pretty preoccupied. I just want to figure out what to do with Ulrich, whether I should just go in to attack. I'm not going to be able to kill anyone. Or whether I should just activate my uh, armor. Now let's activate my armor. Maybe not, probably not the best move, but it's a move. Uh, it's gonna take two AP. I may be able to take a shot afterwards. Let's go. What are my other options here? Okay, let's take a shot. Oh, I can't hit him. I can do a Cybolt. I'll make him bleed. Now, let's try this. I give him something to think about. That he's retreating now. Which is good. I barely did any damage. Oh, 
Okay, he did a bit more damage there. Because he was closer. Oh, he's dead. Haha. <laughs> the bleed. The bleed paid off there. Nice. Let's go get him. If I force strike him, he's still not dead, eh? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. <laughs> All done in private. Enemy armor. Some enemies are protected by armor. Each point can absorb one damage for HP or loss. That's why. Nurgle's regenerative properties cause their armor to be to restore at the beginning of the enemy turn. Ooh. I well, can just hit him again. Cause I still got one AP, so. And I can just uh, do a regular hit. Censored. <laughs> Alright, uh. Standing ready. Yeah, let's move up Myth. Uh, Darig, pardon me. It's gonna take two AP. It's gonna take two AP. As ordered. Ready to serve. Look along. This is gonna take a full three AP. It's fine. As let's just move up. Oh, how come? <clears throat> Did I regenerate AP? How do I get to move him again? That's, that's so weird. Before I move him though, I want to heal him. Seems like I should get closer though. 2 AP to get to this spot. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Just get a better view here. Oh, this is a... Uh... Select the destination within 5 spaces per AP. You can simultaneously select the target for Battlefield Medicine in an adjacent space. Okay, I'm going to use my um, Servo Skull support to heal. Wait. Did I, did I not... How come I didn't heal? What happened? Target an ally at range 10 to heal 5. They recover 5 immediately. Okay, it just heals very little? Yeah, that just didn't seem like it did much. It didn't seem like it did much at all. Two AP. Yeah, let's just uh, chill out here. At your service. I just gonna just want to move further, further up. And I just gonna end my turn now. Shoot, 70% bloom. Alright, we got inch up what is slowly. I am here to serve. Wrong way. As ordered. I am here to serve. Come on, I have P. 
he... Freaking uh, Darig's gotta like get his ass <laughs> moved up proper. Praise the Emperor. Mithrak. Where can Mithrak go? That's relatively safe. He's gonna be. In cover, but he's definitely gonna. I'm definitely gonna trigger some guys to come out. I'm definitely gonna trigger. So I may as well use the opportunity to just move my guys up as much as possible. Alright. Oh, am I gonna trigger? Oh, I already triggered. Fuck. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> It is. Commander, harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. Oops. Extracting seeds. To extract seeds from a sea carrier, you must successfully crit them with a precision targeting attack. Melee crits offer precision targeting by default. Okay, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. One of them's a big guy. That wasn't like the most terrible move, but it wasn't great either. I can just maybe hunker, where can I hunker down? Maybe hunker down here. These are not ranged enemies. They're all melee. So I just hunker down here and set Overwatch. They shall not pass. Yeah. I want uh, Darig here to do something similar. He's got to move up a bit more. I think here should be good. Yeah, here he's got some cover. He can, uh... That's fine. At once, Commander. Now we have our brawling dudes move up. This is gonna take three AP. Better have them move up here, where they're protected by the overwatch. They may even be able to take a shot. Yeah. Cybolt them? Yeah, let's do it. Gibbed. Okay, and this guy. If I move here, it's gonna take three AP. That's that's fine. Let's have our Jessicars fight side by side. Okay. Let's see what they do. I am the Emperor's Fury! Okay, we gotta test me, Commander. I demand the oh no, he got auto attacked. That's why. Oh my god, come on. I can do a precision attack. Oh, come on. That sucks. Okay, uh, sorry for the jarring edit there. I had to stop the recording and restart, but I'm back. So <laughs> that was quite the turn. Uh, remember earlier in this video, I was praising the awesomeness of auto attack, but auto attack actually screwed me over the last turn. 
Luckily, it seems like I have one more chance to get a seed in this mission. I don't know if getting two seeds is uh, it leads to some kind of bonus reward at the end, but in any case, I haven't failed the mission, so I have one more chance, it seems like. So yeah, this guy on Overwatch. I think my apothecary is pinned down over here. Yeah. And this fellow, who is this guy? He is the bloated poxwalker. He's enraged, afflicted targets will attempt to melee attack the source of the affliction. Okay. And he has a mutation called Unstable, where he will explode. Groan. I'm looking under the active abilities here. Groan. Up to four corpses within the area, three of the Poxwalker rise as groaned Poxwalkers. So he's a bit of a necromancer. Huh? And then he has Pestilential Explosion. When reduced to 0 HP or mutated, bloated pox walkers explode over area 3 of afflict plagued 100% 2 turns. All pox walkers in the area gain plus 2 max HP. Ooh, this guy's trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna try for the, um, I don't know, disable pestilential explosion. That might be good. Maybe a good thing to do. And I can smite him down with one shot, looks like. Oh, this is Ulrich. How come? Okay, Ulrich can walk him from the side, but I don't want to use Ulrich. I want to use, uh... Uh... Mithrak here. I think Mithrak's got the same... Yeah, he uh, looks like I s yeah I, I softened up this uh, pox walker uh, already with some uh, Overwatch fire. Seems like okay. Let's finish him off. No need to use a force strike. Just finish him off. Excuse me. I thought I was aiming for his head. What? No, oh, no, now everyone's plagued. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I thought I was aiming. I guess I failed. Uh, there's a chance to fail. Uh, I don't know. This sucks. Uh, let's go back to uh, Ulrich here. Oh, no. We want to take him from the side. It's two AP to move over there, and then one more AP to hit him. And I'll finish him off. The force strike. Hello. Bye bye. And since I'm sorta of out of position, who knows, maybe I'll use my uh psychic boon just to be safe. I could do some healing. I have to get closer if I'm gonna use that uh, ability. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. What? How come I can't? I don't need to. I don't need to target anyone. I just do it. No, he just healed himself. What? Oh, what? You know what? I'm gonna reload. Can I reload? Yeah, yeah I did. S I did save after my. Um... This is really. This is really lame. I did save after the last turn. 
in between uh, stopping and restarting the recording, so. Yeah, I'm just, uh... I'm just a little annoyed that the outcomes of my actions are not what I expect, or I'm just like doing things improperly. So let me let me just try again. So. Here we go. No, this just gives me information. I want to actually... Okay, so precision targets. Aiming for his head. I selected it. After I select it, my only other option Is the is the back out of this menu? Alright, I, I want to disable his. Uh... Actually, before I do that, I'll move him out of the way. I do this. Do this move first. Do a force strike. You have been judged. Weird, I didn't get the uh, extra AP to be able to activate my psychic boon that time. <laughs> That's strange. Um. Your command. That's by Purgator. If I fire on him, I can kill him outright. So, actually, I might be able to move this guy out of. I will I get hit in the back though if I do that. Possibly. So let me just move this guy out of the way then. This will take two AP. And let's just try it again. Yeah. Precision targets. Go back. Go back. And then hit him. Yeah, he blew still blows up. He still blows up. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how you do the precision targeting. Oh, there's an enemy here! I didn't even see this guy. God damn. I am here to serve. <laughs> how did I miss this guy? Can I side bolt? I can. Firing on target. This battle is ended. Gibbed. I don't even need the psychic boon or anything. for this move. I gotta heal this boyo. 
It's gonna take three AP. That's fine. I'll just heal on the next turn. Okay. Dare not move this guy. Here we got a position. Excuse me? What? Oh, there's Darig, pardon me. Can I heal him from here? Oh, I can. Dope. He's purified as well. Yeah, yeah. Good old servo skull. And then... Yes, Commander. He's only got one AP left, so there we go. What is your will? Standing okay, ready. He's the only one who can uh taking position. We didn't trigger the enemies, eh? Okay, let's uh we're at hundred percent bloom, so some bloom action is gonna happen next turn. I am here to serve you. Huh. Yeah, let's just um end the turn for now. Let me just set overwatch and see. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do anything. Oh! Oh, the enemies did show up. What the hell? <laughs> I will fight from here. Yes. Another chance, Commander. So who's got the seed? The guy in the front. Alright. Very well, I'm going to um, do another cheeky save here. Combat 2, right? Or in combat... F in combat 4. Yeah, combat 4, that's the one. Yes. Alright. Oh crap! So, so uh, freaking Derek here. He, yeah, I didn't even know the enemies had appeared. That sucks. Because I would not have done Overwatch. Seriously, I would not have done Overwatch if I had known that they wouldn't uh, give me my turn back. You know, like it was just a question mark here, and then I just decided to do Overwatch, which was a total mistake. I was going to assume that I could advance the next turn, and then I can move my guys and then trigger their appearance. Oh, this is so, this, this is frustrating, actually. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, well, 
See what's gonna happen is this dude with the seed is gonna walk into my Overwatch now and get and get blasted. Yeah, it's annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> At your command. Uh, I'm gonna move him to this side, I guess. I'll just sit tight, wait for them to come to me. Because if I do Overwatch, I run the risk of like cutting down the guy with the seed, the seed carrier. I don't want to kill the seed carrier by accident. I have to do a precision uh, attack on him. Ugh. Actual service. Okay, so end the turn. Okay, okay. Here's my chance. Oh man. He's surrounded now. The miasma of frailty. Oh, that's wonderful. Miasma of frailty for three turns. Yeah, that's wonderful. But at least I can uh, get my seed now. Get my seed. I'm gonna walk up next to them. And then. Get my seed. <laughs> give, me, give me my seed. There we go. Extract seeds. Select the target point with the seed icon to extract the seeds from the enemy. Goddamn right, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so the, the previous menu was just superfluous. This is where it matters. Right? Okay. Yes, we have it! Finally. My commendations to that night. Return with that seed as soon as you can. That's Gotham. Commander, I recommend you fortify until you can be extracted. We have some unpleasant company. So guardians of the seed are coming for me. Okay. What is your will? So it's time to uh, extract. Yeah. But we should clear away some of these boyos that are surrounding my 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 boy here. At your service. Uh, Darig's a little, uh, surrounded right now. We gotta pull back. Who's gonna heal him, though? Yes, Commander. So I can't use... Oh, I can't use the servo skull. I wasted it, I think. Oh, my God. I can use this though. I have to be in range one. <laughs> so I can walk over to this spot. Let me walk over to this spot first.
Yeah, I'll walk over here. It's gonna be two AP. And then let me administer the uh, healing. Here we go. I have to target him first. How come I can't? Oh wait, wrong. Wait, what? What? Do I not have enough um, willpower? I totally have enough willpower. I have four. I don't understand what's happening. Why can't I... Target an ally within range one. But what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> What's going on? Okay, never mind. Oh, the controls, man. The controls! The freaking controls. Like. I guess I can't heal him. I guess I have to be. It can't be diagonal. I have to be. It has to be a non-diagonal adjacent. Ah, oh, damn, man. Oh, I got a crit. That's good. I think I want to have Dareg clean up his own mess. Vengeance. There we go. You have been judged. So I wanna uh, try to. Does it mean I'm gonna hit from behind? Am I gonna survive? Advancing. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got hit from behind. No pain can hold me. I'll do um. Psychic boon. Okay. Hold up. I only have one more AP. I can't kill him with one shot, can I? Even if I side bolt, I can't do it. Why is he so strong? Let's just fortify myself then. Maybe a Mithrak here can take the shot? I don't know. If I get line of sight. No line of sight? Damn it. Seriously? Damn it. We gotta prepare for um actually we should go this way. Ah, this sucks. This could be another one AP. Let's move over here. Ooh. 
Um, I think Darig's downed now. Oh yeah, more enemies. Wonderful. Jeez. Standing ready. So, can I heal myself at all? I cannot. Too far away. Too far away. Great. I am here to serve. So I don't understand this. Select a destination within five spaces per AP. You can simultaneously select a target for battlefield medicine in an adjacent space, which I tried to do earlier, but... Okay, now, now he does it. Yay. Is restored, brother. Yay. The two AP left. Can I take a shot at anyone? I can. It's still not enough to kill him. Your command. Wait, you can you take a shot? To we gotta get out of this position because we're, we're being converged on so quickly um okay let's take the shot with Darig here side bolt it and then we'll finish him off with um Here, service. maybe uh I can fish him off. I can't I can't see how come I can't shoot him? That's... Yes, Commander. Yeah. yeah. Um but he can shoot him. Alright, let's go for it. Let's fish him off. Yeah. Standing ready. Orders. The miasma is brutal. Oh, I wonder if I can hit. Oh, I can't. Well, I can shoot this when they get closer, but only when they get closer. Ah, let's go move over to this side with the uh, Mithrak here. Actually, cancel that. A one AP. One AP move here. Maybe I can take a shot. I can't. Oh, because I'm so far away, it hardly does any damage. Ugh, I'll be in the gas. But it's worth it, I guess. 
Yeah, it's worth it. Get the hell out of the... At least we can get under cover or something. At your command. Jeez. One AP? Better just use my psychic boon. Two AP. A little bit better, but not by much. Just hide. Hide on this side, maybe? And then... Set a little, uh, set a little trap for them. How much ammo do I have? I have one more, uh, one more round of ammo. Okay. At once, Commander. Sheesh. I can set Overwatch too, but I don't think they're gonna. They're not gonna walk into this. All these guys. How do I zoom in again? How do I zoom in? Oh, well, these are melee guys. I think all these guys are melee guys. Okay, so maybe I can do Overwatch. Another guy up there. Oh, nice. Oh man, when's my extraction? So is it too late to blow this thing up and hurt hurt them? Let's service. I am here to serve. But what's the blast radius going to be? I'm going to do a save. <laughs> oh, goodness. This mission is not going too well. Oh, man. Just out of range. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I do some more healing. Gratitude. Gratitude. Alright, let's kick some ass now. Oh wait. Yes, Commander. There we go. Almost, <laughs> almost did the action with the wrong guy. Face me! No demon shall avoid its fate. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Do this. Sidebolt this bitch. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. I, I made him pissed. <laughs> oh, 
to the golden throne. And then. Oops. No, I went to shoot him. Oh, I'm out of ammo. One AP to reload. Uh, let's do it. And then one more AP to go. I can maybe, maybe finish him off. Maybe. Why oh, can't shoot him? Oh my God! Are you serious? How come I can't shoot him? What? I'm a what? Are you freaking serious? Oh my God, man! It's it. What's the point of me reloading then? Oh my god. Seriously, there's some really unintuitive things with this game. Seriously unintuitive. Seriously unintuitive. This guy can't even aim over some cover. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I'll do Overwatch? Yeah? So this like can't, like... Is he just because of the angle? I can't just step out of cover just a little bit more to shoot him? Oh, how are you supposed to know that? Oh my goodness. So this guy has full AP. Gonna move back up. But, you know... I'm behind full cover. Am I gonna be able to shoot around it? <laughs> right? These are the things I don't know. I gotta bring him back. I gotta bring him back to support, right? Oh, I'm still getting weakened. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. Die, die, die. I'm pinned again. Ball monster. They cannot see us. <laughs> okay, when do I get extracted? Initiating sequence. Oh, thank God. I made it. I made it. Oh, my goodness. My guys are battered. My, my knights are absolutely battered after this mission. Everyone's going to need a month to recover, I think. Okay, I got four requisition. Seeing the bloom success. Collected one seed. That should be enough for uh, Fakir, hopefully. But I completed all my objectives, which is awesome. I get full reward. You can select as many rewards as you like. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions or at the next Grandmaster's report. Spend your available requisition to gain access to new armaments, war gear, and resources from the Armory of Titan. They'll become immediately available in your inventory. <laughs> Alright, so three options. Looks like they each. Um, uh, Ektar here, his little uh, captions slightly obscuring the uh, cost, but it looks like one. Everything costs one requisition. So what do we got here? We got Owen Crass Crassus. This rank 2 Grey Knight Interceptor will be sent from Titan to join your forces on the bill for Oh, nice. So it's a free recruit, essentially. But not free, but I'll take him. We'll need them since uh, our, our original crew needs to heal, I think. And then we have Face Ardor. 
This unit has plus 10% focus, increasing their chance to trigger afflictions and autos. Enhanced mobility units with enhanced mobility are able to climb obstacles above their height. Upgrade options. Focus upgrade. This unit gains 10% focus. So this is a piece of armor, like some special power armor, I, I assume. What's the last one here? Argurium Scrolls Tier 1. Passive. This knight gains plus 10% crit for their melee attacks. That's pretty sweet. I'm not quite sure about this face ardor. Um, but I guess I'll spend it. I'll spend it all. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so only in death. Darig and uh, only Darig's wounded. Okay. When your knights return from battle wounded, they will need time to recover. Wounded knights can still be assigned to combat missions, but will have a penalty to their max HP. And we got two promotions. Uh, let's do the promotions. All work. So I was going to uh, tank with uh, all work, so we'll keep going along that path. So we got the turn to armor firm, and then we got the upgrade to the armor, plus one armor, and then from there, we can go uh, another plus one armor, or uh, warp charge, activate to give this ability plus three armor. That's pretty cool. An activatable skill that uses willpower, that's fine. So it's a bit more interesting than just getting like a passive Plus one armor. Let's go for it. And I have one more point to spend. What's this one in the center here? Fortress. A target knight at any range to transfer all of this knight's armor for one turn. Ignore cover. Or I can go over here. This is called Provoke. Psychic attack, target blast over area 2 at range 0 to afflict enraged. One turn, ignore cover. Afflicted targets will attempt to melee attack the source of the affliction. So you're taunting them essentially. I don't know. Something's gonna be helpful, I guess, to transfer armor. Especially if I psychic boon first. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. It's like a it's like a teamwork sort of thing. Okay, let's let's give it a try. Try fortress. And then let's confirm the promotion. Yes. And the Apothecary gets a promotion. The Apothecary, I was going... Where did I go with the Apothecary? This is my first time prom promoting him, so... Um, what's this Warp Speed Biomancy? Target an ally within range, one range to gain plus two crit damage for melee attacks and plus one move speed for two turns. Warp Speed two turns I could go for terminator armor I go up here for uh afflict the bleed this knight's cybolt gains afflict bleed target suffers two damage at the end of its turn damage reduced by one per turn I can just give him more willpower Hmm. Okay, well, I'll go go to the left since this is the more unique branch of his tree, like unique to apothecaries. I'll try out this war speed biomancy. And that opens up some other stuff on the left side here. Upgrading the move speed. This boon gains plus one move speed. Whoops. Or we go um, upgrade crit damage. This boon gains plus two crit damage for melee attacks. 
Let's go for the crit damage, maybe? Okay, and that's it. Dark is gonna take 44 days to fully recover. And, uh, Aegir, or Aegir, it's gonna take 23 days. Guys, man. You serve the Emperor well, Commander. We should study this seed at once. Everything rests on what we might learn from it. Oh, we're already researching something else, aren't we? The seed. So in the middle of this uh, warp field of the penetration, it's gonna take eight more days. So we'll have to uh, let that finish. Let's check out the ship status. I've got totally enough uh, servitors to do the, uh... oh wait, this is the wrong thing. Uh, yes, the next thing I wanted to do was the uh, Argurium. Totally got enough servitors now. So let's do that. I should save now that I'm back in the ship. On ship. Let's uh, keep saving on on ship. Uh, let's go back to on ship one. Calls one on ship three. All right. So I think I'm going to end uh, this episode. Let me know, please, in comments what you guys think of the um, the pacing of these videos whether whether these bites I say you know I say call them bite size but they're roughly you know 40 to 60 minutes long where I spend time on the ship upgrading things talking to crewmates and I do one mission and the way I do missions now I'm still learning the game it takes me a while to get through a mission but essentially it's gonna be a little bit of ship time one mission and then I'm done for an episode. Let me know if that's better or whether I should do a longer uh, episode where I do, let's say, two missions, hell, maybe three missions, and the episode's maybe like two hours or more, you know, longer chunks. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good way to um, uh, compartmentalize and pace out these episodes as I do this long play series uh, so yeah I'm trying to actually carve out the actual physical time to actually sit down and actually do two full hours let's say of, of gameplay that'd be really nice but yeah I don't always get that opportunity anyway uh, do let me know in the comments if you if you if you could possibly that'd be uh, amazing but in the meantime uh, that's it this has been episode four uh, hope to see you all uh, next time. Hopefully it uh, won't be a full week before I come out with another episode. So I'll see you in the next video. And uh, you all take care. Bye for now.